Hello, Kids Club. Today we'll be doing one of two projects: either a fairy garden in a teacup or a dinosaur highland, depending on which project you chose. We will be using very special plants that are called succulents. Succulents like to grow in more desert-like areas and only require a little bit of water, so they're very easy to take care of. Let's take a look at the succulents in your kits. In the teacup fairy garden, you will have a new sunset jade plant, which is this lovely plant right here that you can see has a nice little red rim around it, and it's very tall and looks pretty in there. And then this little cutie is a topsy-turvy echeveria, and it's called that because it has kind of a ruffly look to it, and it's that beautiful kind of blue-green color, and sometimes it gets a tinge of pink in there as well. In the dinosaur highland kit, we have a chocolate soldier colancho. How cool is that? It's nice and fuzzy and has that little chocolatey edge on it. Ooh, I like this one. And then you will also have a really cool one that is called a horn tree hobbit jade plant. And what I like about this one is if you look at the tips of them, doesn't it kind of look like Shrek's ears? <laughs> Today I've decided I want to do the Dinosaur Highland. You should have a container, your two succulents, a nice bag of soil, some cool looking white rocks, ah, a dinosaur, and your instruction sheet. This sheet also will tell you how to take care of your succulents when you're done planting. And then for the fairy garden, you have very similar things. You will have a teacup, which is your container. You'll have a cute little fairy. You'll also have some pebbles, uh, soil, your two succulents, and finally, some pretty gems to add some bling to your teacup fairy garden. I've decided to do the Dinosaur Highland today, but the same ideas apply for both the Teacup Fairy Garden and the Dinosaur Highland. You plant them the, in a similar way. So let's get started. I'm gonna take my little container out and my soil, kind of set up my space here. And if you want to, if you're doing this in your house and you don't wanna make the table dirty, you can do your planting right inside the box. I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Where's my little dinosaur? You, you sit here until we're done. The first thing that we want to do is put some soil in the bottom of our container. You can see that the container has had some holes drilled into it, so it has some nice drainage. This is where the two projects differ. With the teacup fairy garden, I will show you. Inside the teacup for the fairy garden, you'll notice there are no holes for drainage. So the way that we solve this problem is we take those pebbles that were in the same container and we pour them into the bottom. What this does is it lets this water drip all the way down, all the way through the soil to the bottom of the cup and then that water is kept away from the bottom of the soil and the roots of the plants by these rocks, which will help protect them because succulents don't really like a lot of water. Back to our dinosaur highland. So first thing we do after checking for drainage holes is pour some soil in there. You don't have to pour all of it. You can pour just a little bit to get a nice base. Make sure it hits all the sides, okay? And then we get to use our creativity and we get to think about how we want our little dinosaur to live in here. Where do you think he wants his, his trees and his nice plants? So I think I'm going to make kind of a path that he can travel through in the middle. So I'm going to take this tall one that I love with the little succulents, the little Shrek ears, and I'm going to put it kind of at the back over here, and it kind of leans this way, so I like it. Dig a little hole, make sure there's still some soil on the bottom. Now, some of the soil is probably going to come off of the top and the sides of the succulents, that's okay. They don't need too much soil, but we do want to keep some on their tiny little roots. 
So we put him in there, push some soil up around. He might lean for just a minute while I get the other one in place. I think since they're both kind of Okay, now, oh, watch out little dinosaur. Now, we pour the rest of the soil in here. Whoop. And help them stand up. They might need to be pushed down so that they'll stand better. All right. And then I'm gonna make kind of a, I don't know, some sort of a depression. Maybe it'll be a pond over here. <laughs> so we can push more soil up and around. If you don't have all the soil you need or you want more or your plants are taller or they're falling over, you can use just regular potting soil that you have around the house or from outside. Um, there we go. Ah, how cool is that? Okay, now we get to play a little more and use our creativity. Here's those rocks that I got in a little bag. I'm going to make a path for my friend to travel. Rock pile. And then to add a little more fun, I went on a scavenger hunt outside and I found some cool stuff like these sticks. I'm pretty sure my dinosaur would love this stick or this stick. And then I have some nice, some leaves that might make a cool backdrop, like more trees in the background. And I even got some more rocks. I'm gonna use these rocks even to help weigh this guy down because he's so big and heavy. And when you water it, the soil will get thicker and heavier and will help hold down some of your friends. And then this one is super cool. There! Mr. Dinosaur, would you like to live in here? Do, 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 do. Hi! <laughs> oh, how fun. All right, we just completed our teacup fairy garden or our dinosaur highland, and I'm pretty sure yours look awesome. There are a couple things we still need to do. We need to actually water them. I told you that these don't really like a lot of water, but they do need to be watered every once in a while. So the first thing we're gonna do after we're all done planting is give them a drink of water. These are special plants. They don't like as much water as we normally give our other plants. So we're only going to give them a little bit of water. So if you have a tiny cup or um, a turkey baster or something like that, or an eyedropper, fill that up and give it a squirt at the base of the plant, right where those little roots are. Don't overwater it. You give it a little drink of water, enough to get the roots wet and the soil wet and the top soil wet around it, and then let it, then let it be. And then you're going to check it probably once a week. You'll just do the same old finger trick. If it's really, really dry and crumbly, it's going to need another drink of water. And then we leave it out again. These plants love the sun. They love bright, bright sunlight. So if you can find a very bright room or this time of year, since it's the fall, it's uh, cloudy a lot, so maybe a nice windowsill would be a good place for these to hang out, and then your fairies and your dinosaurs can look outside. These are indoor succulents, so these prefer to be nice and warm and cozy in your house, so keep these inside. You can give them a little vacation in the summer and take them outside and put them on your porch, but remember to bring them back when it starts to get cold outside. This was really fun. I really enjoyed playing with it and adding the little touches that I found around my house and around my yard. I hope you do the same and keep playing with it. You know, hey, dress for the part, be a dinosaur or a fairy and uh, add to your little garden and have a fun time using your imagination. Hope to see you all again next time. Bye. Rah.